from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. Police are investigating a deadly shooting on the city's northeast side. It's at least the third deadly shooting in eight hours in Indianapolis. It happened just before 530 on 38th Street near Sherman Drive. Well, she was a Hoosier who made history. Diane Durham was only 15 years old when she became the first black gymnast to win a U.S. national championship in 1983. The native of Gary, Indiana, was a medal favorite for the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, but she was left off the Olympic team after a series of injuries. Her husband says Durham died at the Chicago hospital at the age of 52. A cause of death has not yet been released. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is in quarantine after a member of his security detail tested positive for COVID-19. The former South Bend mayor tested negative and has not shown symptoms. However, the department chief of staff says that Buttigieg was in close contact with the agent yesterday morning as well. Buttigieg has already received his first dose of a COVID vaccine. He'll get his second dose after his two week quarantine is over. Time now for a check of our Tuesday forecast with Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. And Lauren, the accumulating snow has come to an end across the area. That is the good news, but we'll continue to have a few flurries from time to time and skies that will overall be mostly cloudy throughout the day. But look at these temperatures. We're only in the 20s. We really just don't warm a whole lot throughout the day today. Now tomorrow temperatures in the same ballpark mid 20s as our streak of below freezing temperatures will continue tomorrow. Though we start off with just cloudy skies, but then we bring in more snow showers as we work our way throughout the day tomorrow and once again some minor accumulation is possible another one to two inches is possible in spots with some isolated areas a little bit higher but there will be a little bit of a mix that takes place tomorrow afternoon from Bloomington through Greensburg and points to the south. Todd thanks for more stories and weather you need to know download the WRTV mobile app thanks for joining us.